YouTube what's up so finally a video worth watching where you might actually learn something um, so those of you who follow me on snapchat and um, those of you who don't make sure you go and check it out now we'll know that I've decided to go to Australia for about a month with my family and um, my sister lives over there so we're planning to go for a month flying out the 14th of March um, until roughly the 5th or 6th of April and what I've decided to do is <clears throat> plan my prep for that and I'm going to take you through it so you can see some of the thought processes and what I'm going to do um, and then obviously it might cause you to think about your own with goals and ambitions and how you're actually going to structure that to get you where you want to be because I maintain that unless you plan it, write it out and you can see it in front of you it doesn't become tangible and you're essentially shooting blanks um, you've no end goal, you've no process in how you're going to get there um, so hopefully this will help some of you okay so here it is up on my whiteboard that's probably a little bit better okay so here we go there it is planned out so the date is the 3rd of October it's a Tuesday and why is that not focusing properly there we go okay so deadline date 13th of March which is a Tuesday and it's about 23 weeks away from here um, so all inclusive it's 23 weeks from today until the day I fly out so that's my deadline date what I've also done as well as you can see I've, I've scheduled in a diet break between the 20th of December and the 3rd of January and what that essentially is for is because it gives me not licensed to go and eat a load of rubbish at Christmas what it does is it's scheduled in as a break so that during that two weeks I'm not so focused on we'll say getting ready for obviously flying out to Australia and I'm not too concerned about the foods that I'm eating although I will be in the back of my head it's it's not as stressful as it would if I hadn't planned it in eventually um, would I recommend diet breaks for most people? Um, they're useful in a sense, part of the reason what I just gave there in that during times where there's a lot of stuff going on, um, it's obviously Christmas, New Year's, a um, couple of birthdays around Christmas as well. So again, it takes the stress out of worrying about staying on track. Um, there's obviously going to be certain things that I'm going to keep during that week but obviously as the time gets closer I will go through those um, and it, it just breaks it up because I think it's it's 12 weeks um, from here to Christmas roughly and then it's another 11 weeks after that <clears throat> until I fly out so it's a little nice little break in the middle so it splits the prep up into 11 and 10 week blocks which makes it easier to structure um, so as you saw there as well I'll just have, give you a little look at it again so what I've done as well is I've had my current stats on the left and then my goals on the right so a little bit better okay so current weight is about 80 and a half to 81 and um, fluctuating in between that obviously I've had a little bit of a layoff um, from being away for the weekend um, check out Denise video if you haven't and had my appendix out two weeks tomorrow so I haven't had any training nutrition's been a little bit all over the place for the last month or two anyway and I haven't had the continuity of training myself so I've got goals in mind weight goals nothing in particular I've got more of a range that I would like to stay in over the next excuse me um, a couple of months don't really want to stray too much lighter because I've got to think about um, playing as well hopefully when I get playing after surgery body fat looking to strip about 10% I'm hoping that in the next maybe two or three weeks that I'm gonna get someone who do my body fats or skin fold sorry which is probably going to be the easiest way to track just for ease if I can get someone to do that hopefully I can as of now they're the goals I'm thinking of they're probably going to change over the next couple of weeks anyway um, because due to certain things I might be able to get a train as often as I'd like and things might happen over the next couple of weeks that we don't unforeseen 
but as of now, that's what I'm looking to achieve, and hopefully all goes to plan. So what I'll do is I'll take you through my training and nutrition approach um, and how I'm going to go about doing this.